Hi Capricorn, welcome to your love reading for December. This is going to be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. This is a general reading so it may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check your other placements to see what else comes up for you. And the messages can be vice versa. I'll be pulling some cards for singles towards the end. So let's see what's going on with Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn when it comes to love? We have ego, we have confusion, we have sparks, and we have surrender. So right now I'm seeing you may be dealing with some confusion or soon to be dealing with confusion in your relationship. Someone might be confusing you. I'm getting the message that someone is giving you mixed signals, like you don't know how they feel. You may feel something. And you may sense that they feel something too, but you're confused by their actions, I feel. And it's like you guys had or still have a really strong connection. So some of you may be confused as to what's going on right now. And I feel like this person may be kind of stuck in their ego at the moment. But let's see what's going on here. We got passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Children, your love life is being affected by children. We also have make the efforts. Great love is worth taking the steps you guided to take. So this person may have some childhood issues or you guys could have kids together. Um, but for now, I'm just seeing that, you know, things may change because we have with make the effort and express your love. This is someone kind of stepping up. So this is something that could elim eliminate the confusion that you have. Then making it clear, making, making the efforts when it comes to the relationship. But let me see what their energy is. Okay, the person Capricorn has in mind. What's this person's energy towards Capricorn for December? This is definitely someone who's in their ego. This is why you're confused. They're kind of just going off of how they feel right now. So it seems that they soon, they soon humble themselves, but there's something with this person that's making them feel unstable. Could be stemming from their childhood. They could have things they need to work on. But I see them right now um, hesitating to put in effort then there's some type of shift because I see there's someone who's willing to cooperate and rebuild the situation. So there's a shift here. Something happens. But the reason behind their actions is their feeling of instability. Maybe they feel unstable within themselves. Maybe they have some insecurities. They're working on something. But let me see. Capricorn's energy towards their person. You are starting to see things about this person. Um, maybe you're starting to see their weaknesses. They're showing you another side or they will be showing you another side and it could be very conflicting. You guys could have some conflict here or you could be upset with this person at the moment about something in the past. But both of you have this mixed energy. That's, that, that's why confusion is here because there is a stable feeling, there's a ten of cups, four of wands, but then there's a five of wands. There's there is a connection, there's love, there's feelings, but then there's conflict. It could be to do with the lack of communication or a miscommunication. But there's something that you saw or something you experienced with this person that has you confused and not happy at the moment. What's the mutual energy here? Neither one of you are taking the leap. Okay. I see that you both want stability and I feel like for this relationship to continue or to, you know, improve, both of you are needing to know that it's going to work and that it's stable. So you could both be the types of people who don't really go towards something unless you see how it's going to work, unless you see how it's going to benefit you. So this could be why neither of you have taken the leap. You're both needing to see more. 
But the thing is, if neither of you are putting in effort or showing the other person that you're serious or them showing you that, they're, that they're serious, neither of you are going to feel like making the move. What's coming up in the near future for Capricorn and their connection? Yeah. Right. There may be some time apart and you're going to be focusing on yourself self-love you got, some of you are going to be glowing up for this holiday okay you're going to be working on yourself a lot of your understanding your inner world reflects your outer world so a lot of you're working on yourself while in separation from this person until you see something something tangible something you can rely on i see that this person eventually starts to let their guard down that could be what causes this shift like they eventually start to humble themselves them being in the ego right now, this could be just a part of their process. They will soon come down off the high horse and start to realize what they have or what they could lose with this connection. It could be a Libra for some of you or a Leo. But let me look at your main spread for December. Capricorn. What's going on with Capricorn when it comes to love? What does Capricorn need to know for December? You're definitely giving yourself time. Some of you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. I'm seeing a I'm seeing a breakup and a makeup for some of you. But I see that you're giving yourself time. So this could be that you decide to pull away from this though you're seeing your person as having a lot of potential like seeing the connection but pulling away from it feeling like it's the right thing to do having patience with it this person now is going to feel like they've lost you it's almost like you pulling away kind of takes them out of this ego makes them realize makes them come down off the high horse realize what they could lose so they decide to calm down here they're seeing you as the ace of cups so they start seeing you in a whole new light i feel like this is because you decided to just yeah you see surrender you decided to throw your hands up and say okay i'm gonna just not stress about this i'm gonna relax and leave it up to divine timing temperance so there's a lot of feelings there's a strong connection and there's sparks but when you feel like okay i need to give it time i feel like you've made up your mind there and there's going to be a lot of good that comes out of that. This person coming to realizations. There could be communication between the both of you in December. Because we have the Page of Pentacles. Mutually, both of you start seeing a path. Where there's an opening. Where there's potential to work at the relationship. But what's blocking now is an overwhelming... The overwhelming feelings here either it's one of you feeling overwhelmed or both of you but we got this queen of cups energy someone is needing to kind of acknowledge their feelings sort through their feelings so a separation may be what you decide to do okay i see that some of you are letting go because we got this four of pentacles in reverse we got this two of cups in reverse as the outcome some of you decide okay letting go and surrendering is the best thing to do i feel like it's either leading to resolving the relationship or you just feeling fed up and not wanting to continue but let me clarify things 
Why the Five of Swords? Why is this person feeling the Five of Swords? <laughs> five of Swords and Five of Swords in the same position. Why is the Five of Swords here twice for this person's emotions and feelings towards Capricorn? They have a lot of passion towards you. And you know what, though? I feel like I said this in the last Capricorn read. They are intimidated. Queen of Wands and the Empress. Some of you may be slightly too much for this person. And again, like if they are more on the immature side, they may feel intimidated by you if you are the mature one. Feeling like they cannot be on your level. So some of you may pull away because you may feel like, okay, this is... This person is just not growing up or they just seem to be acting out regardless. And it's like they're seeing you as this powerful male or female that they're having to try to measure up to. So some of you see that um, it's time to take a break because the, the situation may be just more and more confusing to you. It's like you know that they have feelings for you, but they are also conflicted in themselves, which may translate into them acting out with you. You getting frustrated with the, frustrated with that and just, you know, deciding to not deal with it anymore. Why the five of cups? Yeah. When you decide to walk away, they're going to feel it. Some of you have already walked away. They are feeling it. They are feeling like they've lost you. They are definitely currently or soon to be going through a situation here when it comes to you leaving them. Why temperance? Yeah, you are just giving it time. I feel like for a lot of you, you may start to see this person deciding to express love and make the effort because they're starting to feel like, okay, I just lost Capricorn. Five of Cups, Eight of Cups. Why the Ace of Cups? Yeah. The reason why they're in their ego and acting up is because of how they feel about themselves. They feel intimidated. They feel they feel some type of way. So their way of dealing with it is acting out and it could come off as immature. But this as soon as you take a break and walk away from them, they start to, I don't know if this matures them, forces them to grow up and make better decisions about their connection or what, but why the two of cups in reverse? King of swords, the moon, knight of cups, you see, you decide to make a decision for yourself but I see them coming your way because of that decision you made to leave. Because of your decision to do you, to take a break from this, because it's too confusing. This kind of shifts the energy. What's the advice for Capricorn? Nothing is yet set in stone. If luck is on your side. Sagittarius energy, you're good enough, Virgo energy, and emotions are running high. So this person, they have feelings for you, but they're fighting with their own issues. You get fed up of it. They may feel like they're not good enough. And that's the thing. The person isn't loving themselves. They can't love someone else. So they have this struggle going on, but I do see change happening when you decide to make a decision for yourself. There's no need to worry. Forgiveness. Opportunity and wait. So it could be that things improve between the both of you.
we have this moon energy we have pisces and cancer energy libra aquarius sagittarius virgo but i'm seeing that some of you may forgive them and i feel like that's if they do change their behavior If this situation does shake them up and make them realize what they need to do, some of you may forgive them if you see a change, but I see you really having your sword up and really being serious about the decision you're making here. Okay. But the main thing here is that this person feels some type of way about themselves when it comes to you. It's almost like you... How do I put it? For example, if you're a go-getter and you decide you make all your dreams come true and you work really hard and this person is kind of lacking that, they may feel intimidated by, you know, your, your, your boss energy, for example. Because that's how they're seeing you as a boss, this queen of wands, this empress. Male or, whether you're male or female, they feel like they have to live up to this. And it's like, how do they live up to it? So then they just act out, they get into this ego because their ego feels bruised, so they try to make up for it. They end up losing you in the process because you get fed up. Now they have to reevaluate everything. So this is why for a lot of you, they are, they are coming forward because that's when they decide, that's when they realize what they've lost. They realize their behavior and that they've been on this ego trip the whole time that costed them the relationship. So Capricorn, do what you feel is right for you and it will pay off. Whether it's this person fixing their behavior or you ending up with someone better. But speaking of that, I'm going to do the reading for singles. So let me pull some cards for single Capricorns. Okay. All right, what's going on with single Capricorn? Five of Swords in reverse. So come in, wow, okay. Five of Swords and Five of Wands, both in reverse. So coming out of some serious conflicts with someone. You may have felt like there was an unfair situation. I feel like you'll be resolving that with whoever. Could be this person you were dealing with or whoever. Um, they could be a Libra. What's coming up in the near future for single Capricorns? Okay. Eight of Cups in reverse. Single Capricorn. The lovers in reverse. And I feel like the message here is that you may be dealing with someone who's fronting as if they are confident and they actually, it's actually the opposite. Like they are doing this to compensate for their weakness and their fears. So don't be fooled by someone's mask. They could be a Gemini for some of you, Taurus, Libra. Um, I'm seeing in the near future someone returning with the Eight of Cups in reverse. The question is have they stopped fronting like have they decided to be themselves because I'm seeing someone who's just really in their ego who's coming towards single Capricorn someone who's unable to move on from you Someone who's really stuck in their head. So this looks like the person who you left behind because this looks like a result of them losing you. Them being in this nine of swords, unable to move on. This person may have just kept going and going and going in their ego, being full of themselves and then ended up losing you. And they're like, oh my God, how did this happen? Queen of Wands, it could be a Leo. That would explain the ego. But... 
We got this Knight of Swords energy. Something really, there's like a huge wake up call for someone you were dealing with who was really stuck in their ego. This could be the same person coming towards you, but if you're totally single, there could be a Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Leo coming towards you. But I see you coming out of conflict and resolving some type of conflict with someone. Or just walking away from the conflict completely. But there is someone who's having a hard time moving on from you. And they may come your way. But. Capricorn. It's really up to you. Because I see that you're fed up with a situation and someone who is being... Someone who is fronting, and some of you may know that they're fronting, like you may know how they really feel and their true weaknesses, but you see that they're just parading around like they're so confident and hurting you in the process. I see that you're fed up with that. So this may be the wake-up call that they're waiting for, that they need in order to change. But like I said, doing the right thing for yourself opens up a whole bunch of paths for you where you could choose whether you want to be with them or you want to move on so basically you're taking back your power all right so capricorn this is what i'm seeing for you hopefully this was helpful feel free to check your other placements if you want to know what else is happening in december thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one